hey guys welcome back to my channel so my name is marla acevedo i'm an actress educator here in dallas texas and i do love still vlogs so if this is your first time thank you so much for stopping by i hope you enjoy this content so let's get started i wanted to do a really quick little update and then do what this video really is about which is a grocery haul update on the whole situation i am currently going to be filming on my phone i did have to order a new camera because basically mine was done um, I talked to a really good DP of mine, DP friend of mine, who basically told me like, yeah, that camera is kind of like, so, um, and I got it checked out. I got a couple different opinions of professionals and they basically said the same thing. So easiest thing was just to get another one. So that's on its way. For now, I will be using my phone and I'm hoping this quality is good. Anywho, as far as my computer, thank goodness I got it checked out and I got it diagnosed. The guy was amazing. His name is Arthur at Icon Computers and he's amazing. He only charged me $40. He diagnosed everything. Basically said the motherboard and everything is good. Um, it's only like the screen that kind of is bothersome, but other than that, everything is good to go. So I'm going to be editing and everything on that. Praise God, because I was so scared. I was like, I can't drop like freaking $800 on it right now. No way. So I'm really, really just thankful that that's working and okay so we're good to go on that so that's an update for that um so bear with me while things get back to normal with our regular filming camera but for now we will be filming on the phone all right let's get started i wanted to do a really quick grocery haul for you guys and just kind of show you i don't want to say quarantine or pandemic or like the c word because i don't know those were just kind of scary and i don't want to say them even though that's our current situation so i wanted to do a quick haul for you guys and show you a couple of things that i picked up and maybe this will help spark some ideas for you or help give you um a little bit of inspiration on things that you were probably missing or want to integrate into your grocery as well for these next couple of weeks so let's get started i'm trying to hurry up and do this quickly because i have frozen food here that i need to get back in there so all right first one is shrimp now i am a pescatarian um However, I don't, I never cook shrimp myself or I never make it at home. The only time I really eat fish is whenever I'm out at a restaurant and that's about it. Other than that, I'm pretty, I'm plant-based all the way. And so, uh, I thought, you know what, let me get a bag of shrimp because there's so many things you can make with this. A couple ideas for this are just, you know, shrimp pasta is amazing, shrimp salad, you can do grilled shrimp, so many things you could do with shrimp. So, frozen bag will last you a couple of weeks, so got that. I also got frozen corn. I really like to make quinoa salad and there was also no canned corn or anything. So I was kind of forced to get the frozen one, but you know what? I'm grateful the frozen one was even available. So I got that. I also got frozen broccoli stir fry. I got, I actually got, I had two bags of these um, because I love stir fry. This has broccoli, carrot, cauliflower, sugar, sugar snap, peas, why it doesn't work with this concoction. Uh, peas, corn, mushrooms, water chestnuts, and red peppers. Lots of great uh, veggies in there. And yeah, you can just saute this, make it into a stir fry, add some soy sauce in there, whatever you want. So, got two bags of those. Okay, this next item is amazing. If you have not tried it, Loki don't want to tell you because you're going to go get it and I'm not going to have it. Just kidding. These are amazing if you guys have not heard about them. They are the Tofurky plant-based original Italian sausage. They taste so good. Make this with some roasted veggies and some herbs de Provence. Oh my gosh, amazing. If you guys have not tried this, if you're plant-based or even if you're not plant-based and you want to try these, phenomenal. Bag of potatoes because, um, guys, this is literally war food. Like back in the day, in the war days, people used to just eat potato all the time. I'm not joking. Um, you can make so many things with this. You can make french fries, you can make baked potato, you can make potato soup. So there's some ideas for that. Um, I got a bag of gala apples. I love gala apples. They're sweet, crunchy, crispy, just like a little bit of, not sour, but like a little bit of tang and oh, so good. So I got a bag of those. I got... I have this next one. I'm just gonna show you because I can't hide it because it was in the haul. So, um, we're not gonna talk about it, all right? It was in there, I was craving it, and I need it for the quarantine. Okay, moving along. I got some garlic powder because I'm all out. Um, and actually, quick tip 
if you uh, want to boost your immune system in this time, garlic powder is actually amazing at that. So you might want to integrate this into like any foods that you can because it's a great way to also boost your immune system. So there's that. Got some unsweetened applesauce. I always get unsweetened because apples are already sweet. So me personally, I don't want to add any more sweetener because I don't have to. Buttermilk frozen waffles. Um, yeah, I love to eat these in the morning with some fresh fruit. So good. I also got the women's multivitamins. I have these on a daily basis. However, right when I ran out, I went to the store and they weren't completely snatched up. So this time when I went, I saw them and I was like, yeah. A bag of babies. Um, these are amazing, super, just like the best things to snack on. So I've got a bag of those. I also got some tomatoes. I love tomatoes. You can put them in pico de gallo. You can put them in, you can make a pizza out of them. You can put them in a salad. You can put them in a sandwich. Um, I like to put them in my quinoa salad. So that's why I get those. Also, got some lemons because your girl loves natural made lemonade. So I got some of that. And I also got avocados because I love to have avocado toast. I mainly have avocado toast every morning. So, yeah. And then you can get the seeds and make an avocado tree out of them. So, there's that. I'm trying to be quick here because I'm pretty sure my phone memory is, doesn't have much left. I also got this classical four cheese alfredo, like I said, to make. I already have some pasta. This is actually my second trip because the first trip I went, they basically had nothing. So I had to wait um, a couple of days to go back and hopefully get some stuff. So I was actually able that I was able to get this many things. I'm really, really excited because guys, a lot of things were gone. Like I don't even have Clorox wipes because there's nothing left. So I hope I make it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is just going to be for my shrimp offer to pasta. I got edamame because amazing. Oh my gosh. And you can also freeze these. So that's honestly probably a tip that I would give you guys is just buy frozen fruits and veggies because that way they will last longer during this period and you have better chances of surviving. All right. I also got eggs. I normally don't like eggs, but sometimes every now and then, every now and then I like a little, a little, oh, scrambled eggs. Um, I also got the cafecito. Got a little Nescafe. Um, you know, I'm not a big coffee drinker, but, um, you know, it's like essential because cafe con leche, like, you know, it's just like necessary for that. All right, so the last thing I got, I normally don't get, um, but I do like to make this chocolate called Chocolate Abuelita, and it's so stinking good if you guys have not had it. Oh my gosh, it's amazing, but you have to use this type of milk. Um, so I grabbed one. Honestly, I am lucky that there were even milk that there was even milk and eggs because last time I went there was nothing. There was no milk. There was no eggs. There was just nothing. So, um, grab one of those. So, yeah, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Unfortunately, I forgot to, I accidentally threw away my receipt. So, I'm hoping I didn't forget anything. I feel like I'm pretty solid on everything. I'm hoping so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That was my grocery haul. I did wear this little mask. Um, my mom actually uses these for work. So, she had a bunch of them, thank goodness. And I was walking around like this. I know, I know, I know I look crazy, but like honestly, better safe than sorry. I was walking around there with this. I was, um, as soon as I got home, like washing my hands. As soon as I got in my car, put my little hand sanitizer on. Um, trying to try to be as safe as possible. I'm staying inside. I'm not going out. So <sighs> hopefully, um, I don't get it. Hopefully, no, hopefully you guys don't have it. Hopefully we can all make it out of this safe and sound for whoever, who knows how long we have to stay longer. But yeah, I hope you guys got some ideas out of this. Um, I did already, like I already have blueberries, I already have strawberries, I already have almond milk, a couple of other staples that I already had. So I wouldn't say these are the essentials. This is just what I happened to get. And um, I guess I don't have much. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> This is just what I decided to get, but you can get a lot of meals out of these things. So it's just about like being creative and thinking like, what else, what are, think of like five different recipes for one ingredient, you know what I mean? And I really feel like if you do that, you can make these really last a long time. So yeah, 
that's about it for me. I'm going to get out of here and put this food back before it goes bad. I just want to get on here and share my grocery haul with you guys and hope to maybe spark some ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like this and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.